when speaking about data backups or specifically speaking about backup hard drives there are two names that come into the mind first is western digital my passport and the second is seagate one touch and the confusion between both of these two is very valid because both of them are at roughly similar price points warranty is the same and they both offer a capacity up to 5 terabytes Thankfully, I'm using both of these hard drives long term personally and today I'm going to share some secret comparisons, some hidden points that none of these 5 minute unboxing YouTubers will be able to tell you. So let's launch the particular video. First point would be size and construction and as you immediately notice Seagate One Touch is slightly larger as you can see over here as well as slightly thicker than the WD counterpart. And the difference is not just in the box, there is an internal difference which dictates this size change. So over here what happens is that the Seagate has a, you can say a regular hard drive over here, a kind of laptop hard drive, although it is thicker than a laptop hard drive, but yeah, it is a SATA hard drive. Plus there is a small little, a small little SATA to USB converter circuit over here. And this thing is totally integrated on WD. So the hard drive motherboard does the job of converting the data to USB standard. So due to this particular difference, WD was able to make their hard drives much more compact, much more tighter fitting than the Seagate counterpart. But if I had to buy one, I would go with the Seagate because in rare case, say if this particular USB port breaks off or some kind of chip or converter in this SATA to USB conversion thing breaks off. Okay, then what you can do is you can break open this casing. Yes, you will lose your warranty, but at least you will be able to remove the regular hard drive, connect it to your PC and at least get your data that way. So this is one major difference and that is the reason there is a, a size difference in these things. Second construction difference is the LED. So Seagate has a small little LED over here and WD has a very dim little like almost useless LED over here. You can't even see it. If I turn off my flash, it's right here somewhere. Okay, so this kind of LED is just useless. In fact, their older models, I think the WD Elements model had, had a better indicator LED than this thing. So these are some size differences. Now let's come to the point number two, that is speed. And the benchmark for both of these drives should be up on your screen. And other than benchmark, let me share my practical experience. If you are copying large amount of data like 100 gigs, 200 gigs, 500 gigs, Seagate has always finished first. And this is regardless of whatever theoretical benchmark speeds it has. So this thing in my books is slightly faster. The third point here is warranty and on paper, both of them have three year warranty. Seagate comes with an additional bonus that is it comes with three year data recovery services. Fourth point is common features. Now both of these comes with AES 256-bit hardware encryption. So you can lock down your hard drive using a pass password. Both of the drives come with their own utilities that will allow you to do this through Windows or Mac. All right. And the utility, uh, I like the interface of Seagate a little bit better. Speaking about the temperature or you can say the heating issues, I have always found that Western Digital My Passport runs two, three, four, maybe five degrees higher always than the Seagate one. And if I'm doing really large transfers, like you know, those overnight file transfers where you've been transferring one TB, two TB, three TB data at once, what I do is I take this little USB fan. I made this thing around 15 years ago and back then <laughs> the things were not available. So I had to do a DIY. Now you can buy these ready-made USB fans. The buying link is available in the description below. So what I do is I just put this fan like this and that thing immediately drops the hard drive temperatures by 8 to 10 degrees and it makes the hard drives uh, really happy and it helps them have a long life. So this is one thing that you can consider. Sixth point would be reliability. Now I am using this Western digital drive since quite a few years and overall I have found it to be a very uh, reliable companion. I have traveled a lot with it and it has not disappointed me yet. Now Seagate is relatively new, but it is also working fine. So I think uh, reliability is similar for uh, both of them. Let's come to the final point that is seventh point conclusion. Now, both of these drives come from reputed manufacturers. Pricing is roughly same. So if you're a fan of Seagate, maybe you can go with Seagate, but if you like WD, you can go for it as well. The links for both of these things are available in the description below. But what is my personal choice? 
if i had to buy this kind of hard drive again i will go with the seagate one due to two reasons that we have discussed earlier one is the difference in construction as we explained over here the difference between sata hard drive and the casing and the second thing is 3 years of data recovery services because data is the number one reason that we are buying these hard drives right okay so that's it for this neat little video guys take care and have a nice day